California, indeed. Uh, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have announced they will be producing, wait for it, two new non-fiction series as a part of their deal with Netflix. Uh, Megan's Netflix series will celebrate the joys of cooking, gardening, entertaining and friendship, while Prince Harry will delve into the behind-the-scenes world of professional polo, what it takes to compete in the sport at the highest level level. OK, right. Uh, joining me now to explain what is actually going on here is Royal Broadcaster Rafe Hedelmanku. Rafe, thank you very much for joining me. Um, two more programmes, spoiling us now, one from each. I, I'm a bit confused about what the Duchess of Sussex is actually going to be doing. Yes, cooking, gardening, entertaining and friendship. I know it's not friendship and family, because obviously family is not one of, her, one of her strong points. But, uh, you know, when did celebrities start taking over the roles of experts? You know, in the old days, you'd have Monty Don, Alan Titchmarsh doing gardening, you'd have Rick Stein or Jamie Oliver doing cooking. Um, it would be nice to have professionals doing these sorts of things. Now, I'm not saying that I expect this to be like Brooklyn Be Beckham when he went on American TV and showed people how to <laughs> yeah. fry an egg bacon and put them between two slices of white bread. We know that she can cook. She famously was roasting a chicken when Prince Harry proposed to her. Uh, I'm just disappointed that Prince Harry is not going to be part of Meghan's show because we could have had a reenactment of, of Fanny Craddock. Do you remember the old oh, Fanny oh, Craddock yes. where you, she was cooking whilst her husband was half sozzled in the background, he was Johnny? In the We've already Perhaps said um, you know, Harry could be in the garden cooking, you know, showing us how to grow some of his special oh, herbs and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> was jumping his balls last time, wasn't he? But um, more seriously, I think, you know, this fits hand in glove with Megan's wider rebrand of her, of her lifestyle brand. I think she's doing what she knows best, which is lifestyle sorts of things. But actually, it shows the problem with Harry, because the fact that he's doing a, a, a show on polo, which is hardly a mass appeal thing, shows that there's not much of a commercial skill set he actually has. You know, he knows how to be a prince, how to be a soldier, and how to play polo. Well, he's done the Prince Harry and Megan documentary. He's done the soldier Invictus. This is the third thing he's got left. Uh, but the problem there, of course, is that polo isn't like football. There, there, there's a reason that it's not played on television. is because they have a very small audience mm. for these sorts of things. Now, they've got a very good team behind them, the ones that did the Wrexham football team documentary uh, series. But again, they, they, this all goes to show that Prince Harry actually is quite out of touch with the public because, of course, polo is the sport of kings. So as much as he tries to tell us that he's distanced from the monarchy, he's a man of the people, uh, this just really goes to show that he's still part of that very exclusive elite set. Well, that, that sounds like... But I'm, I'm rather hoping... Julie Cooper uh, said that polo was... Really Pretty wild and gloriously promiscuous. Are we going to get that from Harry? Oh, well, I'm sure Megan hopes that we don't. Remember, there are the first photographs of uh, King Charles and Camilla were actually taken on the polo pitch. Yes, they were. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and um, Princess Diana. And, and Diana as well. It, wasn't it? That's but, right, yeah. yeah. Mm.